what's going on guys it's Lexi VO3 and I am back with another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing a Q&A yesterday I posted on my Instagram a picture of me and I asked you guys for some questions for this video and I got tons and tons of comments so I'm super excited to do this video but if you missed out on your chance to comment a question go ahead and follow all my social medias right here so that you don't miss the next one but before this video gets started make sure you hit the thumbs up button comment down below and subscribe <laughs> now let's get started so I got tons of questions a lot of them were very repetitive and I got asked the same questions multiple times so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the first question what is your full name my first name is Alexa and my middle name is Michelle so my name is Alexa Michelle how old are you and when is your birthday I am 15 years old and my birthday is on April 18th 2003 Yep. What are some good curly hair products that you recommend? So I've tried tons of different products, but one that really works for me is Diva Curl. I use all their stuff. I use their shampoo, I use their conditioner, their styling cream, and their gel. And it just, that's my go-to, like, I know that works for me. So that's what I stick with. But I have tried other products here and there. Okay, this question was, like, very popular. A lot of people ask, do I have a boyfriend? Do my parents know if I do? And what do my parents say about it? So yes, I do, and yes, my parents know because I tell them everything, and they pretty much guide me through my whole life, they're my parents, so yes, they do know, and um, I'm not really sure what they said, they just kind of asked me questions, I can't remember. Where do I store my shoes? I store my shoes in these clear containers, it's called a drop front box, and I got them from the container store, and they stack up very nicely, and so it's kind of like a little display for my shoes and I love them. What grade are you going to? I'm going to be a sophomore this upcoming school year. If you guys are gonna be a sophomore with me, comment down below. But I'm so excited because this summer has been pretty boring. I haven't been doing much except for going to work and going to tutoring and coming home. And that's not a very fun summer, but the school year is coming up faster than you may think. So I'm excited to go back to school. Are you mixed? If so, what are you mixed with? I am mixed, I am multiracial, and I am mixed with black, white, Indian, Jamaican, Canadian, and Anguillian. That's like six different things. Who is your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber is Jasmine Brown. I look up to her a lot. She has like big hair and is so pretty. And she just, she's so genuine and she makes everybody smile and she makes me smile all the time. And I love her so much. When did you start collecting Jordans? I started collecting Jordans in the fifth grade. Wow, the fifth grade. I'm about to be in the 10th grade. That was like five years ago. Wow, that's a long time ago. But I started collecting Jordans in the fifth grade because a lot of people had them at the school I went to. And I always liked them. But my mom made me buy my first pair of my own money. And I was broke in the fifth grade. What state do you live in? I live in Alabama. <laughs> and I was born in Alabama. And it's, it's great. <laughs> what is the most embarrassing thing that has ever happened to you? So, as of my life right now, the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to me, on the first day of school, and when I went to the ninth grade, I walked into the boys' bathroom instead of the girls' bathroom. Because at my old school, um, how the bathrooms were, boys were on the left, I mean, girls were on the left, boys were on the right, and it's opposite at the school I go to now, so I accidentally walked into the boys' bathroom, which was embarrassing. Nobody was in there, though, so that's good. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be in the FBI and work cybersecurity kind of like technology yeah what is your biggest pet peeve I don't have a biggest pet peeve I have like 30 pet peeves but I hate when people chew gum right in my ear you my mom came in my room and she was chewing gum and it was right in my ear but I was just like mommy <laughs> but that's one of my pet peeves I have a lot and I can't really remember them right now because I don't know it has to like happen for me to remember that I don't like that so what are your favorite types of Jordans and which one is your favorite shoe so my favorite types of Jordans I like 11's and I like 1's and I like 3's um, that's probably and I don't have any 8's but I do like 8's I need to get some but my all-time favorite of course is the 11's and the 1's and which is my favorite shoe I can't even answer that question there are so many shoes that I want but I can't have every shoe, so every shoe that I can't have, I want it. <laughs> How many kids do you want? What do you want their names to be? I want two kids. 
I don't really care what gender they are. I just want two kids. <laughs> and for their names, I like the name Felix from the movie Wreck It Ralph. You know, like Fix It Felix. And also because it kind of sounds like Lexi, like Felix, like Le Lex. <laughs> if you could change anything about yourself, what would it be? I have a mole on my left leg <laughs> and I hate it because it looks like a bug. I would change that. How many siblings do you have? I have one sibling. Her name is Mia. She's my older sister. She's about to be 19. Happy early birthday. Hey. But I have one older sibling. What is your favorite dessert? Um, my favorite dessert... I'm, I like every dessert. I don't really think I have a favorite, but my mom makes this this cake and this chocolate. It's called Death by Chocolate, and you're tasting heaven, okay? It's so good. I love it. What is your favorite food? Um, I don't really have a favorite food. I like steak, and I like chipotle. I like a lot of food. I don't know. I can't pick a favorite. Do you like rap music? Who is your favorite female and male artist? I do like rap music. I listen to a lot of rap music, but I listen to other types of music too. I listen to a whole bunch of music. But my favorite artist, my favorite male artist is Youngboy. And my favorite female artist is Alicia Keys. So that kind of shows you how, like, how much different music I listen to. Because I like Youngboy, who's a rapper, and I like Alicia Keys, who's a singer. So yeah, that's my two favorite artists. What was your very first Jordan? My very first Jordan was a pair of alternate 89 4s. It's the red and white Jordans. Man, when those, when I got those, I was in love. I had to buy like 30 red shirts because I had nothing to match them. <laughs> but man, I was in love with those and I got them probably around sixth grade, summer, fifth grade, something like that because my feet finally started to stop growing. Yeah, that was my first Jordan and I still have them to this day because I want to keep them forever because it was my first ever Jordan. What is your favorite song at the moment? At the moment, my favorite song is Heard About Us by Beyonce and Jay-Z and their new album, The Carters. Yeah, I like the song a lot. If you could live anywhere, where would it be? Um, wow, that's a good question. That's a question that makes you think. I like these kind of questions. Um, I have always wanted to live in California, but then I have to think about, cause my dad used to live in California and I think that's cool. And I think California is just a cool place to live. So I would probably want to live in California or like maybe Florida. I would even live in Atlanta. Something with like a city and like places to shop and fun things to do. Anywhere but here. I'm just kidding. I'm not kidding. Anywhere but here. What is your favorite restaurant? My favorite restaurant is Texas de Brazil. Wow, it's so good. It's a Brazilian steakhouse and I'm so hungry right now. So I just want it right now. But it's an all you can eat restaurant and you pay to get in or not to get in, but you pay one one price and then you can eat all you want. Like that is, it is so good. And my favorite thing to get from there is their lamb chops. If you guys have a Texas de Brazil where you live, I highly suggest you try their lamb chops. They are so good. If you had to wear one clothing brand, what would it be? Polo. Because polos are like different styles. They have polo dresses. They have polo sh like regular shirts. And they have polo button ups. And they got like polo hats. They got polo shoes. So it would just have to be polo. Which shoe is your go to everyday shoe? My go to shoes, I have two. The yin yang ones because it's black and white. Very simple. And it's ones. And I love ones. And the cement threes because it's also like neutral colors. It's black, white. I mean, it's black, a little bit of gray, and red. And that really goes with a lot of outfits that I wear. So those two are probably my go-to shoes. What is your favorite movie? Oh my gosh. My favorite movie is Emperor's New Group and Kronk's New Group. I don't know. I love those movies so much. I like little kids movies. And also like Flushed Away. That was a good movie too. What are your summer plans? Um, We are taking a family vacation to Florida this summer. So that's very exciting. But besides that vacation, my summer plans are to work, kind of having a chill summer, not really doing much. So I'm just gonna work this summer. If you were stranded on a desert island, what three things would you bring with you? Um, well, I don't really like think too much about this question because I know I'm not gonna be stranded on a desert island, but if I was, if there was some case scenario where I had to be stranded on a desert island, I would probably bring Cody, Carly, and my phone. Oh, Cody and Carly are my dogs, by the way. But I would bring them because they would protect me. They would not protect me. They're like this big. But I would still bring them 
because I love them. And then I would have to my phone because then I could call a plane to come get me off the island, you know? Yeah, you know. What is the worst thing a teacher has done to you? Well, uh, in seventh grade, my math teacher told me that, <laughs> she said, she did like this. Lexi, if you were in a room all by yourself, you would find a way to talk to the ceiling. She told me that when I was in seventh grade and like every day since then, I always say what's up to the ceiling. I don't know, that, that, I've had some very nice teachers, all my teachers were nice, I just don't know why she said that to me. <laughs> I think she was saying I talk a lot, but I really do, so I can't blame her, because I do talk a lot, but yeah, it's not even that bad, but all my other teachers were like very nice to me. Would you prefer straight hair or curly hair? Um, because my hair is curly, um, I prefer curly hair, I just love curly hair, and I love my hair. And I don't have a problem with straight hair. I have straightened my hair before. Not too much because I don't want to mess up my curls. But I like curly hair because you can style it a lot of different ways. And I don't know. I just love curls. I don't know. I just, I love curls. So curly hair. Who is your favorite celebrity? I don't really have a favorite celebrity. I was trying to think, like, who is my favorite celebrity? But I really don't have one. Do you have a gaming system? If so, what do you play? I have a PlayStation 4 and an Xbox One. But technically, the PlayStation 4 is my sister's, and I have an Xbox One. And so, games that I play on the Xbox, I play Fortnite. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. <laughs> I play Fortnite, Rainbow Six, um, Call of Duty, Forza, and Grand Theft Auto. So those are the games that I'm kind of playing right now. That's a lot of games, I know, but <laughs> yeah. How tall are you? I am 5 foot 2 inches. Um, I used to be, like, very... What's the word? I used to be very insecure about my height because I thought I was short. And like everybody was like, oh wow, you're so short. But now, that's just a part of me. I'm just forever gonna be short. I used to think that I was gonna grow, but I'm not. I'm just gonna be short forever. And I don't have a problem with that because my dad's short and he's a pretty cool dude. Oh, he's over there, by the way. <laughs> was your teeth bad before getting braces? Um, They weren't bad. Yeah, they were pretty bad. <laughs> um, I had like my regular, like my bottom teeth and my top teeth. And then I had teeth up here. I had like two, um, two teeth right here and right here. And I got joked on. I was called T-Rex. But I didn't really let it get to me. I like laughed with them. I don't know, that stuff, it's not, it doesn't really hurt me like that. It wasn't really a big deal to me. Because now my teeth are nice and straight. Thanks, mom, for my braces. Oh, my mom is back there too. <laughs> What is my favorite sports team? My favorite sports team is the Los Angeles Lakers. My dad grew up in California. His favorite basketball team is the Los Angeles Lakers. I grew up watching the Los Angeles Lakers with my dad. So he's the one to blame for that. I love the Lakers. So what is my all-time favorite NBA player and my favorite NBA player currently in the NBA right now? My all-time favorite is Kobe Bryant because he was a Laker forever. And my current favorite NBA player is Isaiah Thomas. Because he's short and he's so good. And he lost a tooth and kept playing. He's so good. What is your favorite part about making YouTube videos? Um, I love it all. Every single thing. I love talking to you guys. I like making you guys smile. That's what I'm here for. I want to put a smile on your face even if you're having a bad day. And when I post a video and I see that it's doing well and I'm getting good feedback from it, it just makes me happy. So it's like a win-win situation. I get to make you happy and you guys get to make me happy. So everybody's happy. What is your favorite Netflix show? Um, well, my favorite Netflix show was Psych, which they took off of Netflix and I was heartbroken psych I love psych so much because I'm a very big fan of like crime TV shows and like detective kind of stuff and psych was that and it was funny on top of that I love psych so much and it took off Netflix Netflix if you're listening to me please bring it back <laughs> if you could have a superpower what would it be I would pick teleportation because if I'm in a sticky situation I could just teleport my way out of it you know? And like, say something bad is about to happen. And I know, like, I see it coming. It's boom, teleport. Like, I'm walking in the road and a car doesn't see me. Boom, teleport. So it's going to have to be teleportation. What would you guys choose if you could have a superpower? What is one shoe that you have always wanted but haven't gotten yet? Um, in my last q and I, I had the same question. You can go check my last Q&A out right there. But I said the Gamma Blue 11s. And 
if you check out right here, you can see me getting the Gamma Blue 11s and how excited I was. But now, a shoe that I've always wanted but I haven't gotten yet, the Bread 11s. High, the Bread 11 highs. So nice. Love that shoe. Are you a tomboy or a girly girl? Um, a lot of people ask me this question. And I don't think I'm a tomboy and I don't think I'm a girly girl. I do wear Jordans and like a jeans and stuff. But I don't think I'm a tomboy, and I don't think I'm a girly girl. But I am Lexi V03, so you can go ahead and subscribe. What is your favorite emoji? My favorite emoji is the one that goes like this, and it's like the cross eyes, and he's like, because it means goofy. Like, it's me. That emoji is me. Like, do it with me, everybody. So if you guys know what emoji I'm doing, spam it in the comment section. It's like this, right? Okay. How would you describe the internet to a person from the 1800s? This is the best question so far. How would I describe the internet to a person from the 1800s? I'll be like this. Have you heard of the internet? <laughs> it is a place that holds every answer to every question you could possibly have ever. Yeah, that's probably what I would say. Are you looking forward to the Concord 11s to drop in December? Yeah! I'm super excited for those because they did release years ago and they're coming back so I'm very excited and you should expect a video because I hope I can get my hands on a pair and if I do there will be a video so stay tuned December where are your parents my parents are right there and right there there's my dad and my mom say hi mommy and daddy hey. I mean mom and dad hey be hi that's my parents the, my parents they're in this room with me filming because we are a team we work together they helped me with this so much. They're a big help. And I want to let them know that I love them so much. And you guys, there wouldn't even be a channel right here if it weren't for them. Like, like you have no idea. They put in so much work to help me succeed. And I cannot thank them enough. You like that, did you? You cheesing. <laughs> All right, the last question on my list. What is your greatest achievement? I don't have a greatest achievement because I have so much more to achieve. Because I'm only 15, I've only been here for 15 years, so um, I, have a, I have a long way to go through my lifetime. You guys can ask me this question in 10 years. I'll be back to answer this question in 10 years when I'm 25 years old and I've actually achieved something. <laughs> but right now, I don't know. I don't have a greatest achievement. I just have like achievements, but like a greatest one. Yeah. Guys, on a more serious note, I want to thank you guys because I am so close to 80,000 subscribers and... It feels like I just started doing YouTube with you guys, and it's crazy. Like, 80,000 subs, that's so, like, I'm mind blown. Like, if you can't tell, I'm at a loss for words, because I did not, I never thought I would get this far in this amount of time, and I can't thank anyone except for you guys, and you guys, thank you guys so much. From the bottom of my heart, I want to give a big thank you to all you guys, the members of the V-Hive, forever and ever and ever. So thank you. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button, comment down below, hit the post notification bell, follow all my social medias, and don't forget to subscribe. Peace.